In this illustration, we intend to simulate the cyclic analysis of the steel plate shear wall with stiffeners in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, the model includes plate, stiffener, column, middle beam, top beam, and continuity plate. In this question, a cyclic loading is applied to the steel shear wall and following that its hysteresis diagram will be drawn. In these pictures, the formation of the steel shear wall under cyclic loading can be observed. And in this picture, the results obtained from the Abacus software have been compared with experimental results. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Experimental Study of Cross-Stiffened Steel Plate Shear Wall with Semi-Rigid Connected Frame. In the next step, I will click on Create Part. I intend to create geometric shape of column. Continue. The length of web and flange is equal to 150 millimeters. done as you observe in this picture the length of column is the result of some total of figures 1200 200 1200 350 Therefore, the length of column is equal to 2950 millimeters. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of top beam into the assembly section. OK, click on translate instance, select top beam, done. First, select this point, then this one. And OK. In the next step, I will enter geometric shape of column into the assembly section. Young modulus of the column is equal to 199,000 uh, uh, megapascal and Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. In the next step, I will click on Mechanical menu, select Plasticity and Plastic. Yield stress is equal to 293 megapascal. And ultimate stress is equal to 437 megapascal. Enter approximate global size equal to 25 millimeters and OK. I'll click on mesh part and yes. Here I will click on replace. Then select dynamic implicit and continue. Here I'll select quasi static. The analysis will be done in non linear form. Time period is equal to uh, 66 seconds. 
Here I'll increase maximum number of increments and enter initial increment size equal to 0 0.01 seconds. In the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. I'll click on Create XY Data, select ODB, History Output, and Continue. Here, I'll select uh, Reaction Force and Displacement, and click on Save As. Again, I will click on Create XY Data, select Operate on XY Data, and Continue. Here, I'll select Combine. First, select U3, and then RF3, and click on Save As. Here, you observe the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. I'll transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is Newton. Here the diagram drawn in green color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are close to those mentioned in the article.